What is the basis by which you're evaluating your internal strengths and weaknesses within your organization? Now, of course, I'm talking about the SWOT analysis. Typically, what happens is, is organizations conduct a SWOT analysis or a SWOT chart, as I like to call it, because it's really just a bunch of information. That SWOT doesn't usually generate much um, engagement and it's rarely connected to the strategic direction of the organization. So when we look at the internal strengths and internal weaknesses, we have to ask ourselves, it's a strength compared to what? It's a weakness compared to what? So I take you back to the external impacts and say we really need to be comparing our strengths and our weaknesses to those external impacts. And let me give you an example of that because we need to get this right. If we miss this, then our whole strategy or our strategic direction of the organization goes down a path that we may not want it to go. For example, if we look at an internal strength here, penetration with higher customer age brackets direct to consumer. So if we just focus on that for a second, we call that a strength. How is that going to influence our strategic direction? So if we come down from our internal evaluation, that's going to have to connect to our customer and market focus, our product focus, our operations focus, and finally, our people focus. It's going to connect to all of those, not every one of these, but just singularly singular items within this. So the penetration with higher customer with the higher customer age bracket, where is that going to go? That's going to go into our customer and market focus. So if we were to click on our customer and market focus, gross sales in athletic and 50 plus customer segments. So what we're saying here is that we have a strength and we're going to ride our customer and market strategic focus on that strength. And that's the key point with our internal evaluation. These strengths are really what's going to drive our strategy forward. We're putting the strategy on the back of these strengths. So if we miss them, our strategy is going to fall off something somebody's back, so to speak. The weaknesses side, these are going to be addressed in the strategic direction. So we need to identify weaknesses, but then address those in either our customer and market, our product operations, and again, our people. So what we identify in our internal evaluation as weaknesses really translate right into our strategic focus, outcomes, and actions. And that's the essence of building a really strong internal evaluation but that also has to connect to where or what is going to impact the organization in the future. So internal evaluation is based on where or what we're going to be impacted by, and then it has to feed the strategic direction. So it's kind of a, a link within your strategy development between your strategic analysis, strategic focus, and outcomes. Mm -hmm.